so hello everyone uh, we are going to discuss uh, very briefly about uh, what is lichen so lichens are symbiotic association between a fungus or a mycobiont and an alga or a phycobiont the fungal partner is usually an ascomycota and sometimes might be a basidiomycetes the algal partner is mostly a green alga uh, that is chlorophycian members or maybe a cyanobacterium that is blue green algae the term lichen was coined by theophrastus and uh, the common phycobionts uh, are tribuscia protococcus cystococcus cladophora uh, rivularia gliocapsa which is a blue green algae are like that and mycobiont may be ascomycetes that is the sac fungi or the basidiomycetes that is the club fungi so why lichen is considered as a plant because as algae and fungi both contain cell walls which is the characteristic features of plant cell so lichens are also considered as plants so now another important thing is that why lichens are called pollution indicator because lichens grow very slowly they are most sensitive to air pollution due to the presence of sulfur dioxide and probably that is the reason why they are not found in near cities so this is the reason they are called pollution indicator if air if uh, there is air pollution in heavy amount then you will not find lichens growing in the in those areas so here i have just uh, given some uh, pictures of lichens so that you can have a idea about these organisms all the pictures were taken from internet so you can see uh, those uh, crustose lichen and uh, crustose lichens you can see and then folios lichen and fruticos lichen so uh, what are the crustose lichen uh, crustose or leprous lichens are the simplest type where the fungal mycelium evolves either single or small clusters of algal cell they are uh, very much uh, like a stain type um, they are not like fluffy then folios are leaf like lichens uh, their thallus is flat and horizontally spreading with the lobes and some parts of the thallus are attached with the substratum also and uh, what are fruticos lichens they are also called frutex shrubs their uh, thallus is uh, very well defined and they are shrub like lichens and cylindrical bronze or shrubs like uh, thallus is very beautiful some examples are cladonia and asnia lateria etc and that body of the lichen is called thallus as it is a very simple not differentiated into proper root stem and leaf and thallus may be homo isomers or hetero isomers and that is the fungal hyphae and the algae cells are more or less uniformly distributed in homo isomers type uh, for example in crustose lichens but in heteromeras type thallus is differentiated into four distinct layers like upper cortex and algal zones or gonadal layers in medulla and lower cortex so we can see like tissue differentiation type of organization so this is a very brief uh, introductory uh, lecture on uh, just on the basic concept of lichen thank you for watching